celebrating everything the Coastal Bend has to offer. This is a great place to live, so let's talk about it. Get the scoop on the latest trends, popular fashions, hottest music, exciting events, and so much more. Come on, let's have some fun. This is Coastal Living on KZTV. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coastal Living, the at-home edition. We finally made it to Friday, and boy, are we ready for the weekend. We're so excited to be here with you all today. Jocelyn, how's your morning going? It is going great. It's Friday, no matter what. I think every Friday is a good day, don't you agree? I do. And you know, today I'm very nostalgic and kind of sad, but not so sad about all of the events that had to get canceled or rescheduled during the whole COVID-19 experience for all of us these past few months. But the good news is that many of them have been rescheduled. What it makes me think about is I wanted to ask you and get our viewers to start thinking about what are some of the biggest events in the Coastal Bend that stand out to you? Ones that are sort of nostalgic that you look forward to every year. Well, you know, it, it makes me think of a memory of my first time being in Buck Days and the Buck Days Parade. And I'm sure a lot of our viewers can agree that that is such a huge event here in our Coastal Bend. And mm -hmm. it's been a very long time since I've attended Buck Days. So that has that is something that really stands out to me right now, especially my experience. I think I was about maybe eight or nine years old. And I remember being on this float and I was just waving away and I was just, I felt like I was on top of the world. That's exactly how I was waving. <laughs> and I felt super cool. So when this time comes again, I am just so excited because I know I'm gonna think about that moment whenever I was a little girl. So I'm sure you have plenty to talk about. So what is one that stands out to you, Clarissa? Well, you know, of course the Buck Days Parade is a, is a really big one for us. It's so long established. I think it's gone on for 80 something years now. And it's really a staple here in the Coastal Bend. We all remember Bay Fest too, which was a big one back in the day. We don't have Bay Fest anymore, but we have a lot of new festivals that have sprouted here in the Coastal Bend. We have the Mala Festival, the Wine Festival, Taco Festival. I mean, talk about culture, right? And so all of these things I think have become very personal to me. I think it's so great that our community, the Coastal Bend, we've got Shrimpery, we've got um, out in Rockport Fulton, we've got so many really amazing festivals to look forward to. And it's just really great because I do think that every single year that we move forward with these, it contributes to the culture here in the Coastal Bend, which is very coastal, right? That's where we got the coastal living idea from. Now, the hard part is, you know, some of these got rescheduled. I was able to participate in Beach to Bay, which is a huge accomplishment and something people from all around the country travel down here to participate in. Now, that's been rescheduled for October. Buck Days has been rescheduled to November. Many other events have been moved around so that we can still enjoy and create memories at those um, events. But the big thing is, how do we keep track, right? How do you maintain your schedule and plan your vacations around some of your favorite festivals that happen right here in the Coastal Bend to make sure that you get to enjoy them? Well, the good news is I've got the perfect segue. <laughs> um, I was able to sit down with a wonderful woman from a local marketing company, I'll let that be a surprise to you all, who found a wonderful solution so that we can keep our schedule nice and clean and organized and we can participate in the most events possible for the year 2021. Let's check it out. With me now is Barbie Baker. She is the owner of JBBM Marketing, here to discuss a new and exciting endeavor, the Coastal Bend Calendar of 2021. Thank you for joining me today, Barbie. Thank you so much, Clarissa, for having me. So uh, I am so excited to share with you this new endeavor that we are working on. So JBBM Marketing became the owner of the official uh, Corpus Christi Official Relocation Guide at the beginning of the year. and. Mm -hmm. That is an amazing publication. It provides so much great information for the community, but we have so many amazing magazine publications in our community already. Mm -hmm. What we don't have is that centralized location for community members, uh, venue owners, uh, nonprofit organizations to go to put out their information where the community can find it and schedule their weekends and their plans for months to come. Mm -hmm. So we are going to make the 2021 Coastal, uh, Coastal Bend calendar be a combination of this resource guide, keep all of the great information that's in there, but then turn it into a pre-printed calendar. We will be distributing 20,000 copies of this calendar. It will include 
uh, uh, any different events that people submit to us, it's free to send us your event listing to put in the calendar. And, um, and it, will, it will include, uh, the features will be all about the Coastal Bend, the pictures done by local photographers, uh, yeah. local artists. It will have coupons for businesses. So if there's that you know, restaurant or business you've wanted to try out, uh, it'll have some great savings for people to, to uh, use to check of. out yeah. to take advantage mm -hmm. of, perfect. Um, so we are just, we're so excited. You know, you and I have talked so many times about all of the amazing things that this community has to offer. And, you know, being a part of that for so long in the community, you know, you, you're scheduled for this event and then somebody else plans one and it ends up being on the same day and people mm -hmm. say, oh, I wish there was one place that we could go to find what's already on the calendar so we can schedule around it so everybody can enjoy everything. So Wonderful. we have the Coastal Bend Calendar Facebook page and okay. all of the different events that we find on social media, we go in and add to that calendar. So you can start checking out the Coastal Bend Calendar stuff now, even though the first printed version will not be out until 2021. Okay. So, uh, and people can even, when you create your events on social media, you can add the Coastal Bend calendar as a co-host and it will automatically show up on that page. So mm -hmm. even if it is uh, recurring events that happen weekly, uh, if it's a one-time event, you can put it on there and, and everybody can see what's going on in one place. Wonderful. I love that you mentioned the Facebook thing because not everyone is Facebook savvy. Not everybody is scrolling through their phone all day. Some of us prefer the old school written down calendar. We like to write things down and see them in person. So I love the idea of having an actual calendar to look at or even just to have there in your house so that everybody's on the same page. Maybe the teenager kids can check it out. Your husband, your wife can look at it and say, hey, this looks fantastic. Why don't we do this as a family? where normally you're not gonna think, let me go on Facebook and check out all the events and see what we can do tonight or this, uh, this weekend, right? So wonderful concept. Now you're including local photographers. Do they still have time to submit their photos of the Coastal Bend? Yes, ma'am. So our cutoff date for event entries, for mm -hmm. sponsorships, for ads, for art submissions is mm -hmm. October 30th. Great. So we so still you have Good. Yes, and plenty of time. Where do we go? So you can go to the uh, Coastal Bend Calendar Facebook page. Okay. And uh, the website is in the works because we're adding the interactive calendar element to it. So mm -hmm. that will be coming soon. Uh, you can also go to uh, jbbmmarketing.com. Wonderful. All right. So to our viewers at home, this is your one-stop shop, finally, for all the great things happening in the Coastal Bend. So not just Corpus Christi, but all the surrounding areas. If you're a nonprofit organization, if you have a business putting on a big event and you need that exposure, this is the perfect opportunity and it's free. So make sure to reach out, take advantage of this huge opportunity for the Coastal Bend and make sure that we're all on the same page so we can max out the attendance at all of these events, which only promote more great things here in the Coastal Bend. Barbie, thank you so much for your time and for making this Coastal Bend just a better place to live. We love and appreciate you. Wow, we love and appreciate y'all. Oh my gosh, talk about uh, somebody to live up to and look up to for all of the support y'all give to all of the Coastal Bend. So we are, we are just very, very um, honored that this opportunity kind of came about when it did. And, um, and, and we are so looking forward to, to putting out the very first one. Yes, so are we. All right, guys, so keep an eye out or head over to the website to get your submission in whichever way you prefer to do so. And we look forward to seeing that calendar. I hope I get one. <laughs> of course, of course. Thank you, Clarissa. I'm so excited to get my copy of that 2021 at Coastal Bend calendar. All right, we have a great show coming up for you all today. Of course, a new Texas talent right here in the Coastal Bend. We have your Coastal Living Daily Challenge, plus your favorite Friday segment, the Coastal Living Fishing Line, when we return. Stay with us. We'll be right back.